We'll start with the uh, broadcast which Carve will kick off. If anyone does want to stay and work afterwards, we're going to open the photographer's suite which is just out here to the right, uh, just past this room. Um, and obviously social media posting, we always ask not nothing social media posted during the broadcast part of the press conference. Okay, Carve, it's just there. You want to get us started, thank you. How special do you think tomorrow night is going to be? Well, I think it's going to be very special. I think it's a, on, at least it's a, the reality. Uh, the new stadium is a reality. Uh, now it's so close, 24 hours or a little bit more than 24 hours to start to play in our new home. I think it's an exciting moment in the history of the club. I think uh, everyone is going to realize tomorrow the magnitude of the project. And of course, I seen. I was talking with Daniel before uh, when when he with all the people start to sink in the new project in 2001 after 18 years, and today that dream. Uh, become true and reality and it's, it's amazing, it's an exciting moment for the club, it's an exciting moment for our fans, for our player but of course it's an exciting moment and I think it's a, it's a special moment for, for Daniel Levy, our chairman, that, that uh, he start with this idea and, and have the vision to, have the vision to start to deliver it, uh, in all this, uh, this time. You were personally involved Aspects of the design of the stadium as well. What is the one thing about the stadium that has impressed you the most? Well, I think uh, we were lucky five years ago when, uh, when we arrived, uh, and then we were lucky to arrive, and, and, and of course, uh, that Daniel started to share with us uh, the project, and of course, uh, it's because he wanted us to be involved. and and he has in a, in a many in a different um, aspect of the design of the new stadium um, to pay attention in our opinion I think it's so important but I think the most important is uh, I think is the quality of and the love that everyone put to try to deliver this uh, this shop and to create that stadium I think in every single detail is you can see the the passion and the love that everyone put uh, inside to to make uh, uh, one of the best uh, stadium in the world, um, and then that for everyone that is going to come here to to watch uh, football and to feel uh, in the best place on the world. I think. For the player, have the quality that they have, the facilities on the changing room. Uh, for the fans to have the best uh, place uh, to watch the game. Uh, I don't know to spend time with the family, and, and for us the same, and for you. I think for everyone that is going to be involved in the match day, is going to feel that is going to be in the best uh, place on the world. And that is, I think, is why it impressed me a lot because in every single detail you can you can feel the the attention or the uh, of the love of the you know the every single detail is is must be uh, perfect and is perfect and that is why I think we are so impressed about uh, that the stadium. A lot of people will say that this is our best stadium in the world. How important is it that you have the Champions League here the Look, of course, that the the best team in the world uh, must must have uh, or, or must uh, play on, on Champions League. Should be a, a shame don't don't be on the next uh, Champions League. But it's true that when that pressure starts. Uh, and when now you realize and the people realize the magnitude of the project I think um, you can understand uh, why we were talking and, and telling you that our of course our fans our player, all the staff on this club was doing a fan, an amazing effort 
to try uh, to keep the level competing with different different club and I think uh, clubs that only are focused and invest in trying to improve on the pitch uh, trying to f- and fight of course with our <laughs> with the same objective to to us but with different tools sometimes the people when I was talking in the past maybe sound like a excuse but now you you realize that only describe the reality and the reality to build this stadium um, I'm playing in the last three years in Champions League and now we are going to play in Champions League because we are in quarter final of course that is going to be important because this type of project uh, are a project to be one of the best clubs in the world but of course uh, you need time you need time and, and of course that we are going to fight we are in the top four uh, disappointed in the last result but of course that these are not the same of course again Liverpool with the Sermor I, I think we play really well and the second half uh, the feeling are so good um, playing like this I think I don't have doubt that we are going to be on the next uh, on the top four and we are going to play on the next season on, on the Champion League it's only it's in our hands and it's a mini league seven games five in our new stadium must be a big boost for our player and of course for our fans and of course it is up to us to achieve uh, that Hugo Lloris is obviously a World Cup winner he's your captain he's your captain of France <laughs> I think if he would admit that he's perhaps not in his best form at the moment, will he definitely start for you tomorrow night or will he definitely be a captain? He's my captain, he's uh, one of the best keepers on the world. That is no doubt. Um, you know, all we talk when something happens or someone misses uh, in front of the goal, uh, the last touch, or in that case, because I think it was a, a situation that was a little bit unlucky for, for him, the situation, and then the lack of reaction of maybe our, our player uh, happened that we, we, we consider a goal. But, uh, you know, it's no doubt that Duo is one of the best, um, and he's going um, to be tomorrow on the goal. And, uh, and no doubt, I think it's um, you know it's a situation that um, is so painful because I think we deserve more. But in that type of situation happening in football is only to to be strong and and back our player. But you know, uh, I think it's Hugo is going to be like always uh, great for us and was great for us was so important in all that process in five years and for sure uh, um, is going to be one of the most important players for the future of the club too well, tomorrow night it's not just about Spurs Crystal Palace a very very dangerous team especially away from home on the counter attack yes of course when you watch uh, Crystal Palace uh, for me they have a very good player and they are more Comfortable or confident when they they play with again big size. Uh, we can we can watch different uh, games that they struggle a little bit when they need to be protagonists. And but when they play contra attack and when they are deeper and when they are so narrow and close, and then they have the capacity to go forward and they have very good player in front, Andros, uh, Saha or Batswani. I seen um, so. I, I believe that it's going to be a, a very, very tough game. Of course, that you cannot stop that atmosphere and that feeling that everyone that is going to come here tomorrow is going to is ready to for a party. You know, in the same time, it's so dangerous. We need to deal with that uh, excitement. Um, we need to deal with this energy. That um, we need to spend the energy in the in the right moment. That is in, during 90 minutes. I saw with uh, our under 18 uh, how they were s- so exciting to play, how they spent energy in the first half, the second half they were a little bit tired. I said it was a very good victory against Southampton, but uh, you know, uh, it's impossible that don't think in that you are going to come here for a party because it's the open day. But we need to be focused, we need to be. 
to create that offer that the most important tomorrow, of course, for the club, for the history of the club, is going to be to open the new stadium. But the three points are in the same level of um, important too. And, and for us, our focus must be to be focused on the three on the three point and in sinking in Crystal Palace because it's going to be a tough game. Okay, take a question, Richard. Yes, hi. Just on the, on the stadium, we hear from the point of all clubs, not just the building itself, but the effect it's had on the local community, on the primary schools, the, the jobs and the ports, uh, the housing that's been built as well. What impact do you think the stadium will have on those links between the club and the local community and fans? Do you think it will make it stronger? Yes, the club is doing a fantastic job uh, with the local communi uh, community. I think it's. Uh, Yes, it's, it's not only today to talk about uh, Tottenham Football Club. It's a, it's a club that is doing a lot of things, a lot of work, uh, social work, and it's, a, it's, a, it's fantastic. Um, all the people that is involved doing uh, and helping um, this area to not only to develop uh, different things, if not to help people, and to integ integrate people uh, to the society. I think it's a, it's a massive project. It's not only a project to build a new stadium. It's a massive, massive. That is why it's, it's, it's bigger than the people uh, think, no? Okay. You're welcome. George? In the race for top four, you have five Premier League games is that an advantage you've got over other teams? Yes, must be. Must be an advantage. Must be, must be a massive boot for, for us. Of course, that uh, now we need to, to feel that our new stadium is, is, is our new home and we need to feel comfortable. Uh, only we had a one, one training session, but hope tomorrow that we feel uh, well and we can uh, celebrate not only the party on the open on the opening but uh, but it's not the three point that is going to be massive for us how will the atmosphere tomorrow compare to the low crowds you had on a couple of occasions the how much do you think it's for sure uh, in our mind it's going to be amazing tomorrow the, the atmosphere i think it's going to be I hope and I wish it's going to be one of the best atmosphere in the in one stadium of football. Um, and of course, our our people is so excited. You can see uh, in, in in the uh, when play our uh, under 18 or in the when play our legend uh, Saturday that the people were so excited. Uh, watch the first team to play tomorrow is going to be. Uh, it's going to be one of the most important day for the history of the club, and I think the people is going to be so exciting to to help the team to achieve the the three points. You missed the last two games you've been in the stands. Has that had an effect on the team? Do you think that you looking forward to getting back in the back tomorrow? Well, I think it's going to be an an impact. Hope. No, seeing the the two result, my friend here. <laughs> The percentage of victory. <laughs> <laughs> um, and just for the players, I'm, I'm guessing the players are really looking forward to playing tomorrow. You've spoken to them about how they got managed the game. Yes, of course, we were talking. We were talking the day that we used to, to train here, you know. Um, we were talking, be sure that you are watching everything. Uh, and now you need, we need to be focused Wednesday. Of course, that we are involved in a, in a very positive atmosphere, um, and maybe it's for everyone is okay. Football is not so important. Tomorrow is more about talk about the stadium. But I cannot say nothing. I cannot be upset. I cannot be moaning about that. I need to deal, and we need to deal, and the player need to deal because we are in front. I think the one of the most important things that happen in the history of the club and, and we need to be, I think, um, we need to understand that uh, tomorrow is a, f a football game that we must to win and it's so important for us but at the same time that the people is going to be excited not only about the game, it's not about that stadium that is one of the best in the world or is the best in the world. Okay. <laughs>
You're welcome. Alex, over here. Uh, Maurizio, congratulations on the stadium. It looks fantastic. Thank you. At the end of every season, players and, and clubs start to think about their future. Um, do you think this stadium is the sort of thing that the players will look at, your, your players, and think, wow, you know, I'm going to stay, I want to play here, I want to play in front of those fans in that stand? Still, we don't talk about that, you know, we didn't have time to talk about the, how it's going to affect uh, our decisions or our emotion in the future. I think, um, to be honest, it uh, was, difficult. was difficult to talk. Um, of course, after to play tomorrow and play different games that we have here, um, I think maybe I can go into to have better feeling, better uh, input from them if, uh, like we told some time in theory, that maybe this type of, uh, this stadium can change the mind in some player uh, or the facilities that we have on the training ground, you know, or to be on Champion League or not Champion League. And then in theory, all maybe is open, but on the end, on the fact, on the reality, maybe uh, it's not important. But um, I think it's, uh, I still we didn't talk about that. I think we are so focused into change, change the dynamic that we need to feel again the victory and we need to change that, uh, that feeling. Um, and for sure, with the time, we are going to have time to talk. You've got a very exciting few weeks coming up here in the Champions League. You're in this incredibly exciting race for the top four. In the next six weeks, Maybe the biggest challenge you faced as a manager. Look, I think then must the challenge, the big challenge was when we arrived here <laughs> uh, to be today where we are. You know, that was the the the, the, the big challenge that we we find because it was um, from the beginning that I uh, started to make reality to start to build the stadium and all that affect that and all the circumstances that uh, we are going to live and we, we need to or we must to, to deal. But no one now realized that five years ago when we started with this project that now to be sitting here talking, sitting here with the team playing the, in the last three seasons uh, on Champions League fighting for the title, uh, being a contender. Um, start this season with different, a lot of circumstances again, the team, the club and the player, of course. And sitting here, seven games to play on the top four uh, and quarter final of Champions League. Of course, that the last few weeks, the, the feeling is not good, but you know, that cannot hide the, the, the effort that we are doing in the last five years, trying to put the club in the level that they deserve to be. Um, when I told you, I think it's, we feel so proud, the players feel so proud, these people, the staff, everyone feels so proud, the chairman feels so proud to arrive, arrive here, but of course, that now is try to finish the season in the best way. And for me, it's a chapter that is going to be closed because next season is going to, we need to, to build or to be ready to have a new project, five years, four years, three years, two years, depending on Daniel that is going to, uh, to decide that. But I think for me, I am so happy, I feel so proud that finish a chapter this season uh, competing in the way that we compete, helping the club, helping the, the fans, helping the player to be better. And I think it's a lot of uh, thing to talk and to, of course, to sit in again and see the club, uh, how we can uh, be in the level that deserve to be um, in the next, uh, in the next uh, level. And of course, in the next, in the, in the future. Yeah, but you know, I think we play so well. Of course, with all the circumstances that happen 
Um, um, it's difficult to ask more to the player to do, you know. Um, we start this season um, in complete different circumstances than another another club, and we were the the, the, the the club or the team that helped the most our national team, the England national team, to achieve the the semi final on the World Cup. A lot of players, like in Belgium or in France, player involved there. You know, when you start to assess all the season and all that happened on summer, I think it's we need to be on the party tomorrow and enjoy the party and see what happened on the end of the season. We all open. We don't have. We don't need to feel the pressure to finish in one another position. I think Tottenham is going to be one of the best clubs on the world for for sure with these facilities. But today we need to enjoy and not I think we need to add more pressure. For me, the player doing what is going to do in the next seven game in the quarter final of the Champions League, for me always are going to be one of the best group that uh, was on the on the history of the of the club. Yes, maybe you can tell me yes, but uh, still you don't don't win, don't win nothing. But I think, do you think that we watching or looking the stadium and all the situation in that new era? Because you cannot go uh, on the past. You need you need to put all the 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 circumstances today in this moment. You know, and said I think we win a lot. I think we are a winners. Happen what happen until today. Um, and of course, next season is going to be next season. After the season, we'll finish the season. I think we need to close the chapter that was fantastic during five years, but then we need to, have to think in a long term to try to to put Tottenham uh, with the cell to be. Okay, finish with Dan and then one from Ellen. Dan. No, Dyer, no. Harry Wing is going to be involved, <coughs> maybe on the bench, he's on the squad, but um, I don't know if you send the... You send it? Yeah. Yes. Should yes, you can. Yeah. Dyer is not going to be involved. Should be on your phone. Too. And Fernando too, because yeah. concussion is in under protocol. He's looking at it now. One nil down. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Ali to finish, please. Rinsa, you mentioned the new project that is to start next season. If it was completely down to you, what would that, how would that look? Yes, I don't know. It's under my, uh, under mine, because I don't know, because that is a decision always uh, about the, the chairman. Only I... I am talking about that. Uh, I am so uh, honest, and it's so important for the club to have another chapter, close this chapter, and start a new project. A new project means is maybe to start to to talk uh, in a different way, to operate in different way. Uh, you know, I think it was so useful, and I think the way that everyone helped the club to achieve what we wanted to achieve on the end being very competitive and being very aggressive in the way that we play, very, I think uh, we understand very well what the, the club needs from us. But of course, uh, in the moment that you are going to be settled here in this fantastic stadium, that the stadium is to be here, to, 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 to fight, always to be, uh, not only in some period uh, in your history to be on Champions League or sometime, you know, like was on the past. is is a stadium to be every season on Champions League, every season being a real contender, you know, and fighting for big things. That is, a, is of course, is my idea. And after we see, we can translate or can or can deliver it. But I think it's that what uh, deserves this, this club. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you.